What we're after is what makes Titan tick. We want to know how it works. We have found that a lot of things on Titan are similar to what happens on Earth with some big differences. It rains on Titan, but it doesn't rain water. It rains methane. Uh, there are volcanoes on Titan, but the stuff that comes out of the volcanoes is not molten rock. It's probably some combination of ammonia and water. Um, we know there are sand dunes on Titan. Uh, they don't exactly look like sand dunes on Earth, but they look pretty similar. So that gives us an indication of where the wind comes from. So we're going from seeing things to starting to be able to interpret how the planet works. It's really important to tell what's higher than what. What we see for the first time here is the third dimension. It's like looking at something with one eye and then suddenly opening your second eye. You can then tell that mountains are stick up out of the plains, and you can tell how far they stick up out of the plains, which tells you a lot. You can tell that channels have cut down into other parts of, of Titan. You can tell that lava flows have come on top of channels or channels on top of lava flows, and that tells you about what happened first. I think the most exciting thing about what we've seen in these, in these pictures is that you can now start to see beyond what's just the surface. We're really interested in the inside of Titan. Does Titan have uh, different layers like the Earth does? Does Titan have an ocean underneath its surface? What's in the middle of Titan? How distributed is the, are the masses on Titan? Now with these, we can, we can see things that we really can't see directly. We can understand what's going on in places where we can't put instruments. Hotai is an area where there are bright things, there are dark things, and then there are channels that obviously were carved by some sort of liquid coming in from the south side of, of Hotai. Well, the channels we think are probably the liquid that, that rains on Titan, which is methane and ethane. Um, and the darker places with the bright things in between, we think are lava flows. You can tell now that you can see the, the, the three-dimensional part of it, that some of them are higher than others. And so perhaps these flows that at times are lighter uh, are the bright part, and the part that bright in radar means rough, the part that looks like a lava flow that you might see on Earth.